Hey there, so let's figure out how to do a walk cycle in Scratch. First off, uh, where do we go? We go to create, right? And we get ourselves a blank coding area and stage there. And the first thing you got to figure out, though, is uh, who are you going to give a walk to? So the cat isn't so great because it only has two walk positions. And that's just going to make, make it look like he's jumping. So let's first off find a better sprite. Now, Avery definitely has a good walk. And Pico down there has a good walk. So uh, let's see. I haven't been working with Avery a lot. How about we do Pico? Where to go? Pico walking. So there's also positions there, but let's choose Pico walking. And if we look in there, Pico has one, two, three, four different parts of a walk cycle. That looks pretty good. The bear also has pretty good ones. Now, uh, let's start Pico off where we want them to. And then we also want to add a backdrop. And choose a backdrop. What do you think? How about we go to the colorful city? Okay. And maybe move him down a little bit. So it looks like he's right there. And let's get to coding. So what's the first thing we're going to do? Let's start off with when green flag is clicked. And then we wanted Pico to start there. So let's start with, uh, because he's going to go someplace, let's make sure he always gets back to his spot. So we're going to go to X, Y. It's already marked out for us. Minus 161, minus 47. See, it matches these numbers over here. But let's say we want to move, we just, we change our mind. We say Pico should be down there. Uh-oh, I just changed it. So I'm just going to change it to minus 159. And what is it over here? It is minus 180. Sorry, minus 80. There we go. And so whenever we click that, no matter where we put them, he's always going to come back there. Okay, so let's start building the walk cycle. First off, we need to have some different looks, different different. Uh, let's see, uh, how about he does this before we even goes anywhere? Say, let's say, let's go. Okay, make it interesting. So now let's start the walk. Here we go. We're going to start with a walk, which is move 10 steps. Let's try that out. I'm not going to connect them yet. And let's see, I'm going to, now you just notice this, right? If I just do this, you're not going to see the steps forward because uh, he it happens so fast. So we're going to add a weight block. And here we go. Let's wait. Oh, one second is actually too long. So how long is a step? Maybe 0.2 seconds. Let's try that. And let's see what else do we need. We need to change costumes. So let's change to the next costume. There's only four and they're only walking costumes or they're only walking positions. So I don't have to worry about any other kind of position getting in the way. So let's see. Yeah, that kind of looks like he's going to work. Maybe move a little further. Like 15 steps. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that kind of works. Okay. Now we're just going to take these three things. Next costume, steps, wait. Next costume, steps, and wait. We're just going to put that into a repeat loop. And let's say we want Pika to go 10 times. And now, so that's going to, that whole thing's going to just repeat 10 times. Now we'll connect it there. And now let's start it. Okay. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Do we like it? Yeah. You know something? I want him to go a little further. So I'm going to change the repeat to, oh, 13. Let's try it again. It starts at the beginning, says, let's go. And then there he goes. Let's now say that we have to save now. I've got to say Pico walk. And then I'm going to share. And then up there, I'm going to say what my instructions are. Just click the green flag. And then I'm going to just add the studio. Okay. And you've got to find the studio walk cycle. So whatever period you are, walk like those period one, period two, period three, and then just click OK. All right. So I'm not going to do that. And it looks like I needed to solve it here as well. Whoops. Okay, that's it.